Okay, so first of all, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a 30 second countdown timer in PowerPoint. So first of all, go to insert and shapes and select the circle shape. And then while holding down shift, draw a circle, then remove the shape outline, then go to shape fill and make it a light blue color then press Ctrl D to duplicate the shape and then change the fill to a darker blue color. Then press Ctrl D again to duplicate the shape and change the shape fill to a light gray. Then go to edit shape and change the shape to a hollow circle. Then make the hollow circle slightly smaller and then duplicate the shape again and change the shape fill to a darker gray. Then select all of the shapes and go to align and align center and align and align middle. Then open up the selection pane and go to the animations tab and open up the animation pane. Then use the selection pane to make sure you have the dark gray outline selected and give it a wheel animation. Then go to effect options and change the timing to start with previous and the duration to be 30 seconds. Then make sure you have the dark blue circle selected and also give this a wheel animation. Then go to effect options and change the timing to start with previous, change the duration to be one second, and then change the repeat to 30, so it repeats 30 times. So that for the 30 second countdown timer, this wheel animation will repeat once every second for 30 times. And so now you can see the wheel going around and around over and over again. Now we need to add in the numbers. So go to insert and text box and draw a text box and type in the number 30. Then change the font to an Arial black font and increase the size of the font. Then change the text so it is centered. Then go to the animations tab and add in an appear animation and then add in a disappear animation. Then use control to select both of these animations and change them to start with previous. Then select the text box again and press control D to duplicate it and move it slightly lower. Then change the number to 29. And when you do this, you can see as well as duplicating the text box, you also duplicate the animations. Now select the outer edge of the text box and press Ctrl D to duplicate it again and change the number to 28. Then select the outer edge of the text box and press Ctrl D to duplicate it and change the number to 27. And you need to do this counting down all the way to zero. And I'm going to fast forward through this part of the video. And then once you've gone all the way down to zero, zoom out until you can see all of the numbers. And then press Ctrl A to select everything. And then go to Format and Align and Align Center and then Align Middle. And then move all of the shapes so they're back in the center of the slide and zoom back into the slide. Now we need to fix these animations. So first of all, we can delete the 
animation that makes the number 30 appear because we don't need it. And then after one second, we want the 30 to disappear and the 29 to appear. So using control, select both of these animations and go to the animations tab and add in a delay of one second. Then after two seconds, we want the number 29 to disappear and the number 28 to appear. So change both of these animations to a delay of two seconds. Then add in a delay of three seconds for this animation. And then for the rest of these animations, we need to add in delays, adding on one second each time. So I'm going to fast forward through this part of the video as well. And then when you get down to the last animation, you can delete the disappear zero animation because you don't need it. Now, if we play this through, you can see that the number counts down each second while the wheel goes round and also the gray outline is filling round round the outside. Now we are going to add a sound effect to this animation. So go to youtube.com slash audio library slash sound effects and YouTube has lots of different sound effects that you can use for free but we are going to search for clock ticking and you can see here we have this sound effect that sounds like a ticking clock and it lasts for eight seconds. So I'm going to download this and save it and you can see it's downloading down here and then we're going to go back to the PowerPoint presentation and go to insert and audio and audio on my PC and then insert the audio file we just downloaded. Now because this file lasts 8 seconds and I want my countdown timer to be 30 seconds, I need to have four copies of this. So I'm going to press Control D to duplicate this until I have four copies. Then I am going to hold down Shift on the keyboard and select all of these audio files and drag them back up to the top of the animation pane. Then we're gonna to go to Animations and change all of these to start with previous. And now the second audio file needs to start after the first one has finished. So we're going to add a delay of eight seconds to this. Then the third one needs a delay of 16 seconds. And the last one needs a delay of 24 seconds. Now, because the last audio file is eight seconds long, it is slightly too long at the moment, so we need to click on this and go to playback and trim audio and trim it from 8 seconds to 6 seconds and OK. Now we need to select each of these icons and send them to the back so we can't see them. Now, if we play the animation, you can see we have created a countdown timer. So in this video, I have shown you how to create a 30 second countdown timer in PowerPoint. There is a link in the description below to this PowerPoint presentation if you wanted to use this animation. And that is everything.